my summer traverse, I, I was thinking to myself, this is this is probably it for a long time. I'm not going to come back here. And then within 16 days of being home, I was craving to be back out in the Brooks Range. So it seemed like a natural progression to to try and cross it in winter. It's it's so much more difficult. It's the only similarities are the the place and the length. Other than that, the two expeditions have very little in common. I received a phone call one day from John asking me if I wanted to join him on a uh, traverse of the Brooks Range during the uh, depth of an Alaskan winter, uh, which I immediately agreed to without thought. Out on the Brooks Range, fear is your best friend. It, it helps you make the right decisions, especially in winter. Every decision you make is so important. Though I don't always enjoy my time there, um, it's my choice to be there no matter how bad it gets. And I, uh, afterwards, it's, it's an enjoyable, enjoyable experience. I look back on my summer traverse compared to this new challenge and the summer traverse seems like a a fun weekend hiking trip. <laughs> um, I don't know, sometimes I really wonder why I've gotten myself into this again. Um, but at the same time I'm really excited about it. It's, it's going to be massive. Just come from down there. And now we're heading up there, around the corner. How's the day going, Evan? Very good. <laughs> That's how good the day's going. In planning this expedition, Evan and I thought we were going to be doing some downhill skiing, but that idea quickly went out the window uh, when we tried to ski down some pretty small 
I don't even know if you'd call them hills. The difficulties faced on this sort of trip, the, the main one which encompasses everything you do the entire time you're out there is the cold and how it eats at you the whole time you're out there. While we were out in the mountains, we met a, a few Inyapaks who, uh, who seemed pretty concerned that we were out there and, and took a great interest in what we were doing and, and even offered for us to stay with them in the village. So we decided to, to head back and, and learn as much as we could from, from these people who live out there all year round. And it really changed the trip for us. It, it, it was beneficial learning from them, but it was also just really fun. We met this Inyapak uh, named Andrew, who's going to help us out with the full traverse. He's going to do some of our food drops via snow machine. And involving the native people in our trip is it's giving it so much more importance. We feel like we're not just going there and, and using their land and not giving anything back. We uh, set out to a hunting camp north of the village with uh, some of the Inyapak cooked caribou ribs on an open fire, cooked caribou steak, butchered uh, part of a caribou on the, just right on the kitchen floor, made a stew, made a soup, it was an incredible experience. Thank you.